What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with J-Dub, Jalen Williams, and I shot around with this guy, I think he's actually better than I thought he was going to be, and I got J-Dub in literally like, it took me 25 minutes to get all three of Jaime Hackers Jr., J-Dub, and Nicholas Claxton right here, so it took me um about, like it took me just, actually, we were about 35 minutes I'd say, so basically all I did was I ran, um, I ran Kevin Durant and just threw lobs to him with two centers. And I think I ran like Emerald Bowl Bowl and Emerald, what's his name? 95 block. I have the team here. What was the team I ran with? Um, and Emerald Biznak Yambo. And basically I did that until I completed all the dunks. And then as soon as I completed the dunks, I swapped out um, Kevin Durant with Isaiah Joe purely because it was easier to hit threes and I came up against worse competition. So really easy, like 35 minutes for all three of them. I, the other guys take way too long to get, but these ones are easy. So, comes a J-Dub, Jordan dribble style. His release isn't bad on very quick. He's one of the very few releases this year, I will say, is like noticeably better on very quick. As far as his dribbling goes, I gets a bit of space off that. He's gonna be more of a catch and shoot guy than anything. He's off the catch and shoot. I like the release. It does have a little bit of a load up, a little bit of a hitch, but it's not that noticeable. It's really, for me, the hitch is really bad on normal timing. I don't mind it on, um, on very quick. Normal leaner. Not bad. I really not a bad jump shooter. A very, very solid, uh, just at everything. Honestly, he's very good at everything. The one problem is, is that it's the release isn't the greatest, but he comes with almost every defense badge. Hall of Fame immovable enforcer. Like, he is a 6'5 uh, shooting guard, which is like... I don't know how you feel about a 6'5 shooting guard in this game. But at the same time, like... I think J-Dub is a very good card. He is a very good card. And you're looking at free. And not only free, you're looking at get him in a half an hour. And you can combo, again, you can combo him up and get Nick Claxton too. I just got Aquas, just in case I decide. I'll see how I feel. Like I'm getting this video, recording this video, Claxton video, um, and then I'm gonna go and take a nap. And it all depends on how I feel after my nap on what I, whether I use him or not. So we're gonna put him in the team. Gonna make him the point guard. I'm gonna put Morrison. You know, what? I'm gonna use Aquas Junior purely because I'm not doing a gameplay with him because he's really not very good. And give me. Don't want to use Yee Allen. I'll use Yee Allen. I'll use Yee Allen right there. But uh, yeah. Let's see who I'm coming up against. Kawhi. Mikhail Bridges, who's free in TT offline. Okay. Surprised he didn't lose an adrenaline. Oh, that should have been your steal. That should have been a steal there for J Dub. Player build's not the biggest, I will say. Like, looking like, you know, he's only 6'5. But he doesn't look like a big 6'5". Like, there are guys that look like a big 6'5". And there are guys that look like a short 6'5". He looks like... He looks like point guard size. And... That's not good by me. Run around him. Hit him. Good pass. That's a good shot. There we go. That's great defense there by J Dub. Hit him in the corner. Like his release is slow, but he's not gonna miss. Like he's not gonna miss at all. And that's the one good thing about him. Okay, so we got Casal on him. Good pass, Mick. That's a good job. Like, I haven't been able to get to the three, so I'm probably going to put the ball in Aqua Jr.'s hands 
and just try to get him to run with J-Dub off the pick and roll. I'm there, I think. Good defense. That's open. And you can see right there, yeah, that load up is a bit of an issue online. So, like, no one's anywhere near him and I still shot very early. So that load up isn't... It's not ideal. Even off... I didn't realize it'd be that bad off the catch. I thought it was really only going to be one of those off the shot things. Or off the uh, dribble things. Uh, it's a good fade. Missed time by me. That's fine. Okay, we're good. Going nowhere. Not a chance. Let's push. Oh, yeah. That's nice right there. Why would he wrap him up? Why would J-Dub wrap him up right there? Now, J-Dub's a good card. Oh, that's a steal. If only I could score more with him. He's doing everything else. Nah, it's off. Um, Jab, attack baseline. Should be your dunk or layup. Good job, J-Dub. A four, four, and three. With a steal in there. And the force turnover right there. Oh, he's open. On the move from that distance. Like, when you don't get a load up, that upper is so... It's so... has a perfect release point. The problem is the load up going into it. I don't know if the load up's caused by the upper or the base. Like, the upper could... Or the... Loda could well be caused by... It's caused by one of them, and I don't know which. He really doubled that? All right. Dunk it on him. Kawhi may as well not have been there. J-Dub jams it on him. Imagine if I missed that gigantic green window as well. Like, that load up is just... It makes it so difficult to shoot with him. It really does. Like the fact the one shot I shot with him was like, one shot I made with him was the hardest shot to shoot just because he didn't get the load up animation because he was moving. That's another very, that's another early. Like, everything voted in the jump shot. And the jump shot looks pretty as well. That's the worst part about it. Is it looks pretty. I like normally on these broken release... If a release is absolutely broken, sometimes I can find the green window. Like, I couldn't on Tree Rollins release. But on most of these, like, really... Like, most of the time, I could find a release window on a bad release. But not on this one. Like, it just... I haven't felt as uncomfortable shooting with a player this year as I have with this card here. Like, everything gets contested as well. Like, I'm red timing everything at the end of the day. That is a brick again. It's it is hard yeah it's it's fine to shoot around i will say i thought the release was gonna be fine to shoot around but i want to end it on a three-pointer though no and again that's that's a shot that not many like a corver could hit and that's about it that's not a smart shot to shoot surprise at 199 this guy is like absolutely sweating Maybe a 19 and 12, he's a bit more of a chance. Got him. 
Okay, on the move. No load up. Green. Simple as that. Like, shoot the slow fades with him. Shoot the slow fades with him. Once he doesn't hit that warm, once he doesn't hit that load up, he's a really good player. But J-Dub, really, really solid player. 